Governor, let me talk about your home state and mine of Pennsylvania. The latest polls showing now Hillary Clinton's lead cut in half to five points. And I want to pull up what the Washington Post says today about an enthusiasm gap in that state. Quote, African-Americans are lukewarm compared to four and eight years ago, leaders of the community say. And many supporters of Bernie Sanders say they might not vote at all. So clearly there's some concern that Clinton may be squandering this lead. Uh, is it going to take more than a visit from President Obama to try to turn the tide for her? Well, well sh sure. There, there are 55 days to go, and there are going to be a lot of efforts with surrogates, with the secretary herself, with uh, uh, vice presidential candidate Kane. They're going to come here. And I think there is an enthusiasm gap. But I don't think it's a great gap, number one. I think people are going to turn out because they're afraid of what Donald Trump is talking about. I mean, the media has totally ignored his statement Friday night that because the Iranian Navy made gestures towards us, we're going to blow them out of the water. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's start World War III because someone made gestures at American troops. Uh, so people are afraid of Donald Trump. They're going to get out and vote. But the enthusiasm gap is counterbalanced a little bit, uh, Hallie by the turnout organizations. There is no sign of any Trump turnout organization in Pennsylvania. The Clinton people have an incredibly well-organized turnout operation. So that well, will counterbalance the turnout, the enthusiasm gap, and maybe tip the scales a little bit towards Hillary Clinton. Let me pull back big picture, Governor, before I let you go. You know, when you look at polls, our new NBC News polling, for example, other polling that is out there, this race is tightening. So why is Hillary Clinton struggling now against a candidate, a Republican candidate, that the campaign clearly wanted from the beginning? Well, she's struggling because we always knew that the race would get tighter. It's a polarized electorate. We're really talking about a swing voter pool of 15%. I think Hillary Clinton will win that pool. She's winning it, in, as you said, in the Philadelphia suburbs. She's winning it by margins that uh, far exceed what President Obama did in 2012. So she's going to win that pool. And then it's a turnout battle. And I think the organization that the Clinton folks have on the ground will turn out voters uh, as well, if not better, than the Trump organization. And remember, Pennsylvania now has 919,000 more registered Democrats than Republicans. The question is, will they head to the polls? Former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell, thank you very much for being with us this hour. My pleasure. And today's micro